Occupational English Test Listening Test Part A Extract 1 Questions 1 to 12 You hear a physiotherapist talking to a new patient called Ray Sands. For questions 1 to 12, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Come in. It's Mr Sands, isn't it? Uh, that's right, uh, Ray Sands. Now, I think you've been referred to me because you're suffering from sciatica. Uh, that's right. Uh, not for the first time, actually. OK. Well, I've got some notes here, but perhaps you can tell me in your own words about any previous bouts of sciatica you've had, uh, what treatment you had, what worked for you, anything else you can remember. right -o. Well, it all started when I hurt my back, ooh, about uh, 18 months ago now. OK. I was giving somebody a hand with a heavy suitcase and I felt it go, oh. you know, woof, just like that. Mm. Anyway, I slowly got over that, despite occasional flare-ups. And then, out the blue, about a year ago, sciatica developed. Mm. Mm. And it was six months till that finally cleared up altogether. Now it's come back in, well, in the last month or so, I'd say. I see. And your GP said it was sciatica? Yeah. I had this pain all the way down my right leg, mm -hmm. and she said the real problem was in my back because the sciatic nerve was getting trapped. Right. I mean, I'm telling you, this was no ordinary pain. It was really intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, to the extent that I couldn't stand for very long, couldn't walk hardly any distance, I couldn't sleep. Oh, I mean, the most frustrating bit for me was that I couldn't even turn over in bed. It just hurt so much. I just couldn't get comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I'd have, well, a sort of um, tingling feeling in my calves as well. Right. But then at other times, my whole leg just oh, felt a bit numb, really. It, it was weird. And of course, I couldn't go to work. I'm an events organiser, so I travel about a lot. I'm setting things up for conferences, lugging stuff around, you know. And so there was no way I could manage any of that, the state I was in. OK. So how was this treated? Well, uh, in the first instance, I was given painkillers, obviously. Uh, ibuprofen, as far as I can remember. Right. Uh, and I was told to put compression packs on the affected area. I mean, that did ease the pain a little, but I was still housebound, practically speaking. OK. Uh, then the GP sent me to see an osteopath and I got some treatment there, but it didn't seem to make much difference. Right. So I was referred to a sports injury specialist, of all things. Uh, and he did um, a number of things that did seem to ease things a little, like working on my spine and lower legs. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he, he gave me a set of exercises to do at home. I see. Um, any other treatment? Uh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot. There was this course of injections and I went for various other therapies like ultrasound and another one where they do... Well, they use, like, electrical impulses. Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly what it's called. OK. Um, at one point, I even considered acupuncture. But by then, the other things were beginning to take effect and the symptoms were subsiding, so uh, I gave it a miss. Mm -hmm. So, which of these various treatments do you feel was most effective? Uh, what made the difference? Mm, well, I couldn't say for certain because it all went on for four months without much improvement, really. Then it wasn't until suddenly in the fifth month things changed quite dramatically. So to be honest with you, I think it was the combination of treatments gradually taking effect and coming together rather than one single thing making the difference. OK. And did anyone ever talk to you about what might be causing the problem? Well, I think everyone assumed that a slipped disc was behind it all, but right. was never actually confirmed as that. 
I mean, I know there is this other condition uh, where you get a lot of pain in the buttocks, but mm, that wasn't my experience. OK. And did anyone talk to you about aspects of your lifestyle that might be contributing to the problem? Well, uh, I remember, actually, there was one of the therapists...